Hi there, I'm Mike, and what I have for you today is a very fun, very unexpected Star Wars The Black Series announcement, I guess. Early this morning, some figures started popping up, and I wasn't sure if they were real, but turns out they are. These are all based off of Legends, Comics, EU appearances of characters and figures. So if you're wondering where to pre-order these, tomorrow at 1 p.m., that's 10 a.m. Pacific, they're going to be pre-orderable. They're fan channel exclusive, meaning they'll be available at any kind of online retailer, smaller toy store, specialty shops, comic shops, things like that. Basically anywhere but Target and Walmart, which is great because we all know that Target and Walmart exclusives are terrible. These will retail for $24.99 a piece, so good luck with that. Getting all four of them tomorrow. Pick your poison and go at it. We're getting four characters. They come in new and unique boxes. It looks like they have a cover and they kind of open up a little bit like the, the Skywalker Strikes box, but it still looks like it has a full package underneath instead of just being open when you open it up. But it definitely has those comic covers on the front, which I definitely think is cool. Uh, one of these is a brand new character. The rest are just kind of remolds of characters we've already had before. So let's go over those real quick here. First, we have Jackson. Now, uh, I'm not going to pretend that I know everything about all these characters because the truth is I don't. Uh, I do know that Jackson has been in the Star Wars mythos for a long time. He was in the old, old Marvel comics way, way, way back in the day. And I don't think he's really been anything since. There was a little Easter egg in a Clone Wars episode uh, where you saw a dead body in a shuttle and the body's clothes kind of look like Jackson's and the skull kind of looks like a bunny skull but I don't think we're supposed to take that as oh Jackson is in canon and he's dead I think it was just like a weird little kind of easter egg thing and we're not supposed to read too much into it I hope anyway but no one knows so he's a green space bunny he's got uh two blasters and I, don't know, I think it looks pretty cool I'm I'm pretty excited for it he does have a little bit of a Bucky O'Hare vibe and they actually came out at about the same time as far as I know. So I don't know if one is a direct copy off the other, but definitely they have those similarities. The next one is Darth Maul, Sith Apprentice. You can see here the cover looks rad. This is based off the comic Darth Maul. This is a Legends comic. I believe it took place before the Phantom Menace. And that is because you can tell that he has no robot legs. Now from what I can tell... The lower half is the same as Darth Maul's and in that same vein, the same as Darth Nihilus because they shared those same legs. It does look a little bit in the pictures like his legs come a little bit closer together than my Darth Maul's. So <laughs> maybe it is a little bit retooled, but the upper half is brand new. We have a shirtless Darth Maul. The sculpting looks fantastic. I think it looks great. Uh, the lightsaber also looks like it's a new lightsaber. It doesn't come apart in the middle, which I'm super happy about because the Darth Maul that I have, the lightsaber doesn't not want to come apart in the middle. So it'll be nice to have a new Darth Maul without those issues. Next, we have Carnor Jax from Crimson Empire. Now, I've never read Crimson Empire. The only reason I even know about this is back when they first announced the Imperial Royal Guard. They mentioned that this is where they got the look for what's under the robe since they never really showed what was under the robe before. So this is where they took that uh, in the first place. So now we're just basically getting that same figure, but slightly modified. It looks like mostly just the cape is slightly modified. Everything else looks pretty much the same. Although he does have a new glaive and it honestly, the head isn't right. The head should be a little bit different because of the head that Carnor Jax even has on the comic cover uh, looks different from just the standard Royal Guard head. So also another thing with this is that this appears to be not Carnor Jax, but Kier Kanos. I didn't really know much about it, but I did a quick Google search and Carnor Jax has a lot more black on him and Kier Kanos doesn't. So I, I don't really know where Hasbro is going with this, but they do seem to be a little mixed up on the character. It's basically a figure we've got before, but with a new weapon and uh, a different cloak. That's it's kind of it's a little lazy, but you know I'm I'm not gonna say no to more guards and more troopers. And then lastly, we have Luke Skywalker from Heir to the Empire with uh, Ysela Miri. Now, if you're not really familiar with this, Heir to the Empire was a book series, a trilogy that came out, so introduced Thrawn to the Star Wars mythos in the first place. 
I personally have sort of cooled on Heir to the Empire Thrawn trilogy. I think that it hasn't aged well, and the Salamiri that he comes with is one of those reasons. It's basically a little creature that can nullify the Force. And there was just some weird info, because clones, you know, no one really knew anything about the Clone Wars or what it meant or how it was. And then this weird thing where, you know, clones created didn't have the Force, so the Force couldn't talk to them, so they all went crazy. So wearing the Salamiri uh, with that Force bubble around it helped keep them sane. You know, it's, it's just something that, like, that's not a thing. That's not a thing. No one had one in the Clone Wars. There were, you know, millions of clone troopers, and that was never a thing. So uh, it's definitely a book that hasn't aged well, but it is Legends. It's EU. It's not canon. But let's talk about the figure real quick. This Luke is essentially just Dagobah Luke. This is just the Dagobah Luke we got last year, but with a, a color palette swap. That's it. Uh, and without the kind of dirtying paint apps on his arm and, you know, stuff like that. But the same tank top, same pants, uh, just black. That's it. He does come with the Return of the Jedi lightsaber, which is pretty cool, but he's not wearing a belt or anything, so we can't store it anywhere. So I don't know. It's lazy. Yes. It's just a repaint of a figure we've already got before. Part of me likes it for the novelty. Uh, and I actually I think the packaging looks nice. This might be something I'm buying, keeping the package, but knowing myself, probably not. And yeah, that's it. So thanks so much for watching. Thanks for getting this far. Let me know down in the comments are you getting these? Are you looking forward to them? I love to read and respond to all of them. I'm pretty much going to get them all. That's just how I roll. I'd also like to take a moment to thank the people that support me on Patreon at a Black Series level or higher. You can also join my YouTube membership if you'd rather do that. But with that, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for getting this far. And I'll see you later. Bye.